So now that our environment is working, let's get some insights of what is happening inside my environment. So I'm going to check at incidents where we detect some anomalous things that are happening inside my environment. So here I have anomalous login. I'm going to have a quick check at it and I'm going to see that inside the timeline I see that there is some weird activities happening with this machine. So here I can see that this machine actually I'm having this amount of uh, target for communication that we have and I can see that in the timeline there was actually a set of strange login that is happening. So those logins are related to these users and therefore are related to that because we see this user being used on a set of workstations. So that's kind of sign of a very suspicious behavior that I can then take further to investigate what's happening. Another example here is traffic to known bad machine, uh, some trying, somebody trying to play with Kerberos ticket and here you can see for instance uh, some traffic sent uh, to Tor proxies. So you can do the investigate and here you can see that this is this type of alert that has been raised. This is this uh, entities, this IP address and this machine that has seen this traffic happening. So the configuration of the intelligence is inside the analytics environment where you have a set of predefined rules, the rules template, that you can uh, define and that are here uh, basically using differ different criteria. So here, for instance, it's just a Microsoft sort of information to create an incident out of um, security center. Here, Fusion is our engine that is going to actually merge the logs from very different source of information and then make sense out of it. And here you have uh, the schedule query that actually is going to mix things coming from the DNS environment, the Cisco ASA, the Palo Alto uh, as source of information. And you can see how the query looks like from the excerpts uh, that you have here in the environment. So that's really where you customize your environment to add some more queries uh, uh, to really have what you want to see inside uh, the alerts of your configuration. You can also go to the playbook. It's a very important aspect, which is what do you do with those alerts? Uh, what is the automation that you do? So we use Logic App. Actually, you can create graphical workflow use the logic app designer to determine what's going to happen as a response to the security incident. So here, for instance, we see if there is an alert occurring in Azure Security Center, then I'm going to post a message into a Slack security channel. I'm going to send an email uh, notification uh, with this mm, type, this subject, and to this email recipient. All of that without writing any uh, line of code. So that's really one of the interesting aspect out of it. And there's a set of predefined templates. So here you see that Logic Apps comes with predefined rules that you can reuse automatically without having to create your own uh, lines of code for it. That would be, for instance, integrating it with ServiceNow or any ticketing system to uh, create an, a task for someone to uh, evaluate and to take action on it. In the hunting activity, you can see also that you have uh, active research, proactive research of vulnerabilities. So you have the hunting activity with a set of queries that are already defined by default. So here I can set, for instance, a query to check if any user uh, has been added to the uh, domain uh, administrator account. And here I just run the query and it hasn't been the case for um, the last couple of days. And you can see that I can be less granular and run all the queries at once. That's the power of Custo uh, query uh, language and log analytics query. It's like it's very fast and you can see all the data. Here you can see, for instance, insight on what has happened in, in terms of failed logins to my Azure portal. So you see all the details of the information. This user has been uh, tried to access from this IP, from this geography, from this browser. And you can see that you have the full listing here from instance, someone from France trying to use my uh, credentials to log to this machine. So that's the kind of uh, visibility that you have in the hunting uh, section. It's really proactive uh, search into the environment. Here I can see the bursting in the signing activity of my Azure uh, subscription as well. All of this available in a couple of seconds. That's really important. 
Another important of it is you can create bookmarks. So then you can come back very quickly after uh, that on look back on something that has happened, create an event, and then you see, okay, that's something of interest. I should come back to that at a later stage when I have uh, more time. So that's an important aspect of it. Save uh, the results of your query. All the automation that we have, but if you have data scientists, they can also use their Jupyter notebooks and research on the security data and get new insights out of it. And you can also, of course, extend all this intelligence that we have present by default by using some things uh, from the community that are present on GitHub. So there's a whole Azure Sentinel repository when you can get new ways to search for vulnerability here for instance i'm looking at a query that can look at the dns name that are well known to be part of wannacry uh, botnet and malware so that's a very important aspect you can have different sections that enrich all uh, the power of azure sentinel with new features live and it hurts.